Hello, I'm Francine Godoy from Mid Globe's newsroom and I'll present you our news from today. Decoding the genome of Cabernet Sauvignon will make it possible to accelerate the development of a new disease-resistant vines. A new sequencing technology has produced a high-quality draft genome sequence of Cabernet Sauvignon. The world's most popular red wine grape variety reports the University of California in Davis. This breakthrough will help scientists accelerate the development of new disease-resistant vine grape varieties that produce flavorful grapes and are better suited to environmental changes. Warmer temperatures attributed to climate change are already being recorded in many prime grape-growing regions of the world. And it is important that new varieties can thrive despite the warming, explained Dario Cantu. According to him, the new sequencing process will enable scientists to develop the genetic markers necessary to combine important traits into new varieties. It is ex expected that the new genomic approach will help researchers to conduct competitive studies between Cabernet Sauvignon and other historically and economically important vine grape varieties. And we will also answer some of the questions that have been surrounded the ancestry of Cabernet Sauvignon for centuries. Since research done at U, uh, University of California in Davis already in 1997, it is proven that Cabernet Sauvignon was created by crossing the Cabernet Franc and Cabernet Blanc vines, which are called its parents. For grapevine genomics, this new technology solves the problem that has limited the development of genomics resources for wine grape varieties. The first genome sequence for the common grapevine, Vitis vinifera, was completed in 2007 because it was based on a grapevine variety that was generated to simplify the genome assembly procedure rather than a cultivated variety that sequence lacks many of the genome genomic details that are preceded by economically important vine grape varieties. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and if you want to know more about our stories, please visit our website.